Welcome to another color compare video where today we are looking at the dark colors. So these six colors, the thing that they all have in common is that they are dark, but they are not black. So first let's kind of look at the one that obviously says black in here, Corvus Black. Just so you know, this is not a true black. Hard to tell. You got the black of the stick against it there. It's just ever so slightly lighter. It's a very, very, very dark gray. So I wanted to kind of compare these. We've got the Incubi Darkness. We've got the Lupercal Green, Necromancer Cloak, Angel Green, and Hardened Carapace. And to kind of look at those and say, hey, where are we at with these dark colors? So I'm going to first take this Corvus Black. And we're going to take a look at options from the Army Painter if you want to go dark like that. And clearly we have two very good options here in the Necromancer Cloak and the Hardened Carapace. You can see both of those are the dark but not black equivalent as well. I think they all look like very nice choices. I'll say the Hardened Carapace, I really like that one a lot. So that Necromancer Cloak is definitely going to see some use. Now moving over to the, has a little bit of a color or a tint to its side, <clears throat> we have these colors here. We'll kind of compare between those a little bit as well. Incubi Darkness is one that's sort of weird. It's like a very, very, very dark teal. And you can kind of see, I only did one coat over the white, you can kind of see a little bit of that tealy color coming through but it looks really nice on large areas. It's a very interesting color, definitely one that I use a lot on things that are kind of supposed to be dark and spooky. Angel green there, you'll see a nice dark, dark, dark green, darker than even a forest green. It is a dark green. And we have then our Citadel Lupercal green, which is a little bit of a tealy, it's almost like a lighter version of Incubi Darkness. So if you're going for the more tealy side, you are not going to find quite an equivalent color on the Army Painter side. So if you really want that Lupercal Green, though I'm going to be painting a couple models here and doing the Citadel versus Army Painter and Lupercal Green and Angel Green are ones that I've found I'm using as equivalent. So you're going to see when that video comes out, I don't know how much longer after this one, or it might already be out, uh, you um, will see that on one model, it'll if the Citadel model will have Lupercal Green and the Angel Green will be on the Army Painter model, kind of in those same areas. And that's just because I think they work, right? So you might say, oh, I like the Tealy Green better, or I like the Green Green better. Pick the one you like better. They're both excellent colors. I really like them a lot. Incubite Darkness, very nice color. Hard to find something quite equivalent to that. Let's take a look here then at Incubite Darkness. If we're going to use something on the uh, Army Painter side to kind of get something similar to it, I'm probably going to go for that Necromancer Cloak. And it doesn't quite have that same, uh, you know, kind of tealy tint to it, that Necromancer Cloak. But it's definitely right in that area. And it's not quite on the black, black side of things as our Corvus and our Hardened Carapace there. So these colors I like to use for like boots that are supposed to be like black boots because nothing is really black, black in the real world, right? So having something that's a little off black is kind of nice. Hardened Carapace, nice. Little bit of a brown tint, very subtle. You can only see it in the right light, and I don't think I'm quite doing it justice here with the camera, but very slight brown tint. Corvus black, very kind of straight black, just a little bit lighter. Two excellent colors there, probably nearly interchangeable. In fact, I will probably use them as such. And so those are kind of what I would call the equivalents here. Corvus black to hardened carapace, I would use um, Necromancer Cloak anywhere that you might want to use Incubi Darkness or vice versa, just as, you know, another option. And then the same here with the Angel Green and the Lupercal Green is you can basically use those interchangeably as well. Again, each of these just keeping in mind your individual preferences. 
And so that's what this is all about, these color compare videos. Figure out what is your preference. You know, here, clearly I have all six of these colors. I can pull out whatever one I want. But if you said, you know, hmm, I'm only going to buy one of these colors, all right? What do you want to do? You know, do you do you want to off black, you know, with this kind of this Corvus black or this, you know, Necromancer cloak or hardened carapace, something like that? Going for more of a green, going for more of a teal. You know, pick the one uh, or two of these colors that work well for you based on, you know, what your army is doing. You know, like, for example, if the thing that I wanted to do was paint a bunch of, you know, oh, they're supposed to be black, but they're definitely worn boots, I'm going to go for this hardened carapace, right? I'm going to go for that, or I'm going to go for this necromancer cloak. If I want to say, oh, I want to paint some, like, spooky, you know, dimly lit buildings or something, then I'm going to go for this inky by darkness probably quite a bit. If I'm going for, like, a kind of dark and sneaky commando vibe, like for some orc commandos. I'm reaching for one of these Looper Calor that Angel Green. I think that would they would both look excellent. But those are, you know, three different uses. And so get the paint that is the color that works for you for the use that you plan on using it for. And I hope this was helpful in you picking out that color. Let me know what colors you'd like to see compared in the future, and I will add it to my list of videos. Thanks for watching.